Welcome to our review on exothermic and endothermic reactions. So the first thing we're going to do is actually have a look at an exothermic reaction. Now, when we're talking about an exothermic reaction, this is one where the temperature of our reaction mixture is going to increase. So as a result of that, what we see is heat is being given out to the surroundings. And two key examples of that would be combustion and neutralization. So the second type of reaction we need to know about are endothermic reactions. And we can always identify these because the temperature of our reaction mixture decreases, so the temperature drops. Now, the heat is actually being taken in from the surroundings to cause that temperature decrease. And a great example of this that we've already encountered is in photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is an endothermic reaction. Now, two other endothermic reactions that we have encountered are electrolysis and thermal decomposition. Now, neither of those have a temperature decrease, but they are endothermic reactions. So energy is being taken in from the surroundings, but that energy is being used to break down the substances. So electrolysis, remember, is splitting up chemicals using electricity, and thermal decomposition is where we're breaking down chemicals using heat.